Hello, welcome back to Hedgehog Radio. It's still Hedgehog Radio. You know what? It's just okay. Hello, welcome back to Radio Hedgehog. Um, ah, that's better. So I'm I'm back to to do some more drawing and talking, and uh, this time I'm chatting with Christine. Hello. Hey, Chris. Hello. Yay! Hi. It's all working. <laughs> that's brilliant. Good. I'm always so glad that this is that this first bit is working. It's so so far, it does. Yeah, it does so far. So good. So here you are. That's your piece of paper, which I'm going to fill. So, oh. um, like I say, I'm not that that good at drawing people. So I'm going to draw you as an animal. What animal would you like to be? You can you can be a cat. Yeah. Well, so. I, I yes. I mean, I know there are many cats, but uh, I'm I'm one of them. Okay. Fine. <laughs> So um, I'll, I'll try get this right. Just one of many cats in the pond. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm gonna yeah, good ears like this, and I feel you should have a bit. Oh no! Now I'm giving you all this hair. But that's right. You should have a mane. Um, a bit fluffy. A bit of fl a fl oh yeah, fluffy cat. Maybe I can do a fluffy cat for once. <laughs> <laughs> You feel kind of mad now that I'm very hairy. <laughs> yes, that's very strange. I'm kind of turning you into a llama. I don't know what's going on today. It's just it might okay, be. Okay, let's see. It might be that kind of thing. Um, Maybe I'm channeling now llama. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> Is that acceptable? <laughs> can you be that? Kind? It would have to do. <laughs> okay, <fine>. <laughs> <laughs> How can I make it better? Is there anything you should? You well, should I like. Some the, nice I think. Slants. I do have a lot of jaw, I suppose, so that's quite right. <laughs> I'll give you some nice, a nice shirt, maybe. So that's a bit better. Fine. So yes, let's see. What can we chat about? Um, I'm trying to get better at asking people questions. Oh. So I could start with a question if you like. How about? Is there any particular tree that you remember in your life, from your life? A tree. A tree. Oh, yeah. I mean, actually, surprisingly, quite quite a few. Yeah. It's difficult to choose from. Oh, um, cool. but I, yeah. I I um now I don't know what this is in, difficult in a way because I don't know what I don't know what the type of tree is called, but it's um we used to in the garden we used to have this um small tree so I would say how big was it? Uh, it was slightly bigger than me. Uh, as a child, so not very big, and it had very um, orange, um, I suppose, leaves. Now that I think of it, I don't know what about it was orange, to be honest. Maybe it had orange <laughs> berries. So this is not very precise. This is very good. <laughs> but there was something very orange about that little tree. That's good. And uh, it's one of those things, it was always there. And and I remember, you know, that, that this orangeness was quite impressive, and it sort of stood out um, for me. Um, but it was just always there, so like all the other trees. So it wasn't, and there were some other special trees too. Um, so at the time, I didn't, I don't think I particularly noticed it, but it was always around. And at some point, it wasn't, and I can't actually remember when it was gotten rid of for whatever reason maybe it was maybe it died or maybe it was ill or i don't know but um i know that it's not there now so the the, the garden i i well the, the house i grew up in um my parents still have it so i still go there a lot and, and that tree's gone now um it has been gone for a long time so it's anything? one of those things that um it's one of those things that you remember from childhood that was there and sort of left a visual impression and then suddenly it's gone and it's yeah. a long time ago we yeah. had a we but had a tree like that but then we moved away it was a weeping willow i liked as a child yeah that's very maybe easy. that's what it was i don't know no weeping willow wouldn't be orange although what? it could be a willow i don't know a willow's ever orange. I might have to ask, but I like <laughs> I like that uh, mustard yellow there. That's very autumny, and oh, that's good. I like those colours. I like that. Do you have any more memories about the tree? Or 
Maybe about the house. I could put more things here. Maybe this is your maybe this is your house at home. I can put more things in there. What else would be Well there? something that happened that the tree witnessed mm -hmm. was um when I had a rabbit and uh and I uh, suddenly had the idea of letting the rabbit run free in the in the garden and it was around that tree. It was a grey, rather large rabbit. Um and my my grandmother was also there. Oh. Um, sitting or standing in the garden, just having, just minding her own business. And uh, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll put the rabbit down and it will just sort of do some nibbling or grazing. And, and that's not what happened, of course, that, that the rabbit down and it just shot off. And my <laughs> grandmother went, oh, the rabbit, the rabbit, and panicked. And it was a terrible panic. And uh, <laughs> I remember happened? myself sort of lunging myself onto the rabbit to catch it <laughs> sort of down downhill as well towards the towards the bushes so this was this sort of head first dive onto the <laughs> rabbit that was excellent did you catch it i did you did yeah. i sort of i hugged it wildly from above you could say this is like oh you just kind of tackled it to the ground like... yeah yeah i tackled it yes i didn't squash it i was very careful but i sort of yeah <laughs> like um, this, hang on. Used, yeah, used my own body like a bag. <laughs> the, rabbit. the rabbit's like. So it, it was free for about four seconds, um, and that was the extent of its freedom. I'm really impressed with your grand being me. like that 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 quick about it. It it knew what it wanted. Um, it yeah. wanted out. <laughs> But your, grand, but your grandma's like, you know, four seconds in, like two seconds, one second in, she must oh. have been like, rabbit! Like, <laughs> yes, yes, she had very quick reactions for her age and considering that she had, she had, uh, you know, she, she wasn't, uh... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't normally necessarily have quick reactions, um, I don't remember, so that's very impressive. Yes, she was uh, oh, right sounds, there. This sounds like a very good garden. I like. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> sounds very dramatic. It looks very dramatic. <laughs> it was dramatic, though, and uh, yes, that's. It brings it across. I think it was a bit like a sudden thunderstorm. <laughs> yes. Oh, of grey rabbit. Be, this is going to be like all me, all me laughing again. Oh, this is the most dramatic yet. I think I can probably probably, uh, probably fit another tree. Should I fit another tree, or should I fit more of the garden? What else can we put here? What would go here? Just a bit of space. Not very much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Let's put another thing that was in the garden here. <laughs> um, Maybe come another time. Well, yes, uh, I, I, um, somewhere, well, uh, somewhere nearby in that garden, somewhere in the earth, now must be some uh, Playmobil uh, figures mm -hmm. that uh, that that weren't mine. They were my brothers, and as always, I played with my brothers' toys um, in the garden. And uh, it's it's still a mystery. There was a bit of a, a a tree had been taken out at some point, and there was this hole in the ground, sort of dug up earth and a, a root sort of sticking out. And it, that was a very exciting place to sort of mm -hmm. play. That people were, you know having some sort of adventure um, and I, I suppose I got distracted for a moment and then the figures were gone and uh, they must have fallen <laughs> in or I don't know and uh, they were never, never found. I was just um, imagining you giving them a whole burial there like or like an, an underground expedition just kind of. <laughs> yeah I, it must have been a terribly tragic. Uh, just going to take like, a little people. Actually. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> they're, hey. they're still there some, their remains are there somewhere. <laughs> Maybe maybe it was the hole from the little tree. I mean, if it was get rid got rid of. Oh no, not the right time um, probably. Uh, it was it was a different time and it was a much bigger hole. Um I know the tree that was there actually. What what tree did you see there? That was an apple tree and and uh, my brother was very fond of it because it had one of those um well you could climb into it and you could actually sort of sit in it. It had 
sort of the the tree branches were all kind of forking together and so that was his resting place and um he, he oh. loved it and uh, yeah and it was it's, there was a uh, crazy storm and uh in the late 80s i think it was called Kuril. do you remember it uh, did you have it as well that ice storm it was like a sudden sudden cold spell with like um with hails or whatever and, and it froze over everything really thickly i don't very remember suddenly. i should remember but I don't yeah remember. you should have you should have experienced that as well and it broke a lot of trees obviously and and that tree sort of got Derooted basically by um, by that ice that just pulled it off to the side after a few days, and uh, and oh. it was there, just sort of half ripped out. And I think that's when I played there, when there was this hole in the ground with the tree next to it. And, um, and I remember my brother crying when they eventually decided to sort of clean up the the tree leftovers. <laughs> um, Your poor brother! Yeah. It's just like first he loses his tree. And then yeah. he loses his Playmobil into the hole of the tree. Oh yeah, that's true. It's he suffered a lot with. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he still goes back, like, and visits, and just like stands there in the garden and just like looks at the ground and he's like, "My tree, my Playmobil." Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think he might have. He might have uh, blocked it from his memory. I don't think he remembers necessarily. <laughs> um, and he has a lot of small children now that are very busy and keeping him from thinking about anything, I think. <laughs> Maybe they'll find it one day. It Maybe, yeah. Thing to look oh, look, we did a page. I think that's... that's yeah. <laughs> I like the colours. And uh, it, everything looks very dramatic apart from me, my face. <laughs> well, you just remember In pretty much it. every picture. Yes. Yeah, you have about the tree as well. In every yeah, all the versions of me are looking really pleased. I, I like that. Yeah, you should be That's really pleased. That's me in, well, in the chaos is. of life. Yes, it I'm is. I'm always serene. <laughs> Look at that! You're like, ah, oh, I love this tree. Ah, oh, I love this hole in the ground. Ah, oh, I've got my bunny back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unless you're looking at it from a, from a perspective where it seems as though I'm causing all the chaos, like I'm completely <laughs> blissfully unaware. Which may also be true. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're just like, yes. I was going to put you in here like a god, but you'd be a very small god. <laughs> but a happy one. It's very cute. There you go. There's the spirit of chaos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think that's that's all done. Ah, oh, thank you. I feel good about this. <laughs> How do I? It brings up a lot of questions for me that I will have to go off and ponder. <laughs> you do that. Okay. Well, thanks. I'll I'll stop thank it there. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good. Thanks. <laughs>